What's up, Trojans? All right, I got to be a little honest here. Uh, I was starting to feel a little bit down on the Giants after they didn't win four straight games in a row. You know, they were 0-3-1 and in four games in a row, capped off by that horrible loss to Philly that just uh, slipped my mind to cover last week. You know how that goes. Um, <laughs> oh, that game was so depressing. I, I, I couldn't even watch it because I... They um I had it and they switched off of it. It was so mean. Just because the Giants were down so much, they're like, no, nah, they can't come back. They can't do it. Meanwhile, they they're airing a game where the freaking Colts are up thirty three nothing, and then surprise surprise the Vikings come back. It's like yo, and how you can't just go off of those games. You can never go off of an NFL game because you never know what's gonna happen. But I was starting to. I was I was a little down on the Giants, thinking like, oh man, maybe the Giants could not make the playoffs, only end up like eight eight and one or something stupid. But after this huge win, I'm back in on the Giants playoff hunt, man. It is, it is looking good after a win like this. The I mean, and the reason I was thinking that was other losses were close, right? You had. Dallas was kind of close. Giants were in it. Even the Lions. It, well, the Lions was a game we shouldn't have lost, really, but kind of did. Uh, the Washington game, we were freaking right there. The tie, I'm referring to. Uh, Giants were right there on that tie. Giants really should have won that tie. But the tie is helpful in a few other ways. Um, and then... The Eagles game, Giants just got wrecked, and that was one where I was like, man, ah, the team can't allow themselves to lose like that, but then Giants win. <laughs> Giants win big. Giants have a huge win on Sunday night football prime time against Washington, the Washington Commanders. Giants have this huge win, and what makes it amazing is all of the stars stepped up. Right, everyone you needed to step up in this game stepped up. All the guys you're planning to re-sign and think about that were actively playing, McKinney's still out. They all stepped up. And it was something amazing to see. It, it was a really good game. Obviously, you know, the Giants could have done better, this, that, and there, blah, blah, blah. That's for the coaches to figure out Tuesday through Saturday. I am very excited about this win. The team showed a lot of good stuff throughout the game. The defense especially, that defensive line with Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau was on fire today. Kayvon Thibodeau was everywhere. Kayvon Thibodeau was in on, it felt like every single play. He was chasing guys down that he had no business chasing down, and he would be the one to get the tackle. Who knows how many yards he saved alone. He had so many great plays. He had one play where he pushed the guy back into the guy running with the ball and then tackled the guy running with the ball because he was able to turn around and catch up to the guy. It was insane to see someone put that much Effort in on defense and that much speed to catch up to guys. And then obviously it was Kayvon Thibodeau that came up huge for the Giants' first points of the game with the strip sack as Washington was backed up against their own end zone. The strip sack recovery touch down. That's the st- type of stuff the Giants need from star players. And <laughs> it's funny, I don't. I think Kayvon Thibodeau only has like two and a half sacks on the season or something. He does not have a ton of sacks, but all of his sacks are so meaningful. And he gets so many pressures, bats down passes, makes so many tackles. He is a star. He is playing really well. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, I think, also had a a sack fumble. Um, A a bit more, you know, clutch of one because it was later in the game, right? Stopped... um, you know, Washington's uh, field goal to really tighten things up and gave the Giants the ball where Saquon Barkley showed up on that drive especially. Saquon Barkley was running hard all game. That's why I want to have him on this picture too because Saquon Barkley got all positive yardage. I only, The only play I remember where Saquon Barkley actually went backward 
was where Feliciano got blown up on a block and Saquon, there was no way Saquon could get out of it. The guy was like on him. But otherwise, Saquon was running forward all day and Saquon Barkley had so many huge runs on that Giants' last offensive drive. It was like 15-yard run, 15-yard run, 15-yard run. I'm just like, whoa. And then even, you know, when he started slowing down, it was positive, right? He'd fight for the yard. He fought for the four yards. And then, you know, they did the thing with Darius Slayton where I guess at least the clock was running. Giants were able to do do clutch things in this game and come out with the win. It was so huge. Graham Gano with the 50-yard field goal against the win where you saw the Washington kicker, I think... I'm not going to say his name because I'm going to get wrong, actually. Um, I've been watching NFL games all day. Uh, <laughs> saw I got to watch uh, Cincinnati come back against the Bucks. That was a wild one, too. Uh, but the Giants win means so much more than any of the other wins today. I mean, you, you've had other wins this week. Like, yeah, they clinched. So what? They could have clinched the next week or the week after. They had to win one game in five. Like, whoop de doo the Giants needed this win, and they got it tonight. This game was huge. This game was exciting. This game belonged on Sunday Night Football. Daniel Jones' first primetime Sunday Night Football performance, he wins. And you had, you know, Saquon Barkley, as I was saying, making those plays all night where he would just push the the pile, all the guys, like that little bit further. Saquon Barkley was getting, like, the extra yards every time he had the ball. It was great to see. Everyone kind of knew what they had to do in the end. You know, some people made some mistakes. The defense kind of looked like they were about to fold there in the end, especially in the secondary. It's a banged up secondary. You know, no Dory Jackson, no Xavier McKinney. Those are very good players that the Giants are missing out on lately. But they were able to fight that. The defensive line stood tall. You know, Dexter Lawrence with a... That huge strip sack uh, when Giants were up 17-12. Then you had Graham Gano kicking the 50-yard field goal against the wind. Which, um, you know, all the points were necessary today. Though Washington kickers missed extra point. I think, did he miss a field goal too? I think he missed a field goal as well. Or they didn't attempt a field goal because they thought he would miss it. But I also feel like there was a missed field goal. Maybe not. Maybe he also got the field goal. There was some. I they de- they definitely didn't attempt. They went for it on a fourth down when they should have probably kicked a field goal or punted when they should have possibly been able to go for a field goal. I forget which one that was, but the Giants had another interesting spot where they could have done that. Points were at a premium today. Felt like aside from Kayvon Thibodeau's instant seven points. It was not big plays getting points. It was the points that the Giants got. The Giants' other touchdown was a long, drawn-out drive. 18 plays, 97 yards, where the Giants had to convert a fourth and nine. Brian Dayballs. Brian Dayball. <laughs> Brian DeBalls Dayball. we got, got to find a way to get the nickname in a clever way. I don't know what he ate this morning to make him do that, but it was so worth it. Freaking fourth and nine and goes for it. I don't know if that was him saying, yeah, go out and do it, or if he was like, hey, try to get draw him off sides, we'll kick the field goal. But if they're looking like they're going to slack, this is the play call. However that one went down, it worked. It was great. Fourth and nine converts, and that's how the Giants... Get that drive. Get those points. It was a huge drive to see. Took out the entire second quarter. Really put the Giants in the driver's seat for the game. Exactly what I wanted to see. And the defense, for some of the woes the secondary had today, that defensive line was getting pressure all day. Aziz Ojolari had a huge third down pressure quarterback hit when it counted even. Uh, Laren Williams, uh, got beat sometimes, but also had some good pressures, helped out with a couple sacks, sort of, you know, you, you move one guy, make the quarterback move one way into another guy. That's the sort of teamwork we're looking for on the New York Giants. And that's the teamwork we got on Sunday night football primetime. The Giants have not won a primetime game 
in what feels like forever. Maybe they did. Maybe the Giants won a primetime game, but it wasn't with Daniel Jones. But I don't know how that would happen because whenever the Giants don't have Daniel Jones, I feel like things are horrible. Um, the Giants win this primetime game, and it means so much. It really feels like the Giants are on the right track. The Giants are in the driver's seat for the playoffs now, two games ahead of Washington. So if we, if the Giants can just beat one of the Vikings, Colts, or possibly resting starters, Eagles, as the Eagles might be very far ahead um, for the last week to, um, you know, have clinched the division, possibly clinch the number one seed even. The Eagles might be completely clinched uh, by week 18 and might may rest their starters, but even if they don't, uh, the Giants will have more to play for. The Giants will be hungry. The Giants will be ready to go for that game if it comes down to it. But I don't think that's going to... I don't think that'll be a playoff or bust game. I That might be... The Giants could be in a spot where that game means nothing for us too, in which case, I just want to see the rematch. Like, <laughs> that's just for honor at that point. I'm all for it. Uh yeah, uh, Giants in a really good spot. Just got to win one of the next three games, and we're looking really, really good. That puts our playoff odds like up to the above 99%. But it is still possible that the Giants get kicked out. It just It's feeling really good after tonight. Really excited that the Giants are able to get that one in and got key plays when it counted. Got very lucky in the end uh, with the no call and the pass interference, but you win some, you lose some in that department. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm just so excited after this win. Giants are looking like the 7-2 and two Giants, the 7 and, no, the it was the 6-1 and one Giants, the, or the 7-2 and two Giants. Yeah, they're, they're looking like that team. That's what that. That's what we got tonight. Was that team, the six and one Giants. That's what I was looking forward to. I'm, <laughs> again, I'm just so happy the Giants were able to get it done. Uh, it didn't feel like they did anything too crazy. You know, they they passed a little bit more, but it was working. Uh, they got, you know, huge catches from guys like Richie James, Isaiah Hodgins, a couple from Darius Slayton too, but it was nothing crazy. Uh, I don't want to go heaping praise on the offense, really. Uh, I think Saquon made some key plays when it counted. Daniel Jones made some key plays when it counted. And yeah, I, it feels more like a defensive win to me. Uh, 20 points is what you want from your offense. The offense did good. Well, wait, the offense didn't put up 20 points. The offense put up 13 points. Kayvon Thibodeau put up seven of them. So, as a key distinction. So, the offense, you know, it did its part, but it wasn't the biggest factor. I uh, gave up some returns. I had one return from Richie James, though. That was nice. So, I guess it kind of evens out, but uh, it was, this was the defense. The defense is looking good. That defensive line, I mean, is looking good. The linebackers, too, guys like Landon Collins and Jalen Smith were definitely able to help out on some tackles, but that defensive line was so good tonight, and get a couple more things going in the secondary, and that defense is going to be something to be scared of. Get a couple more pieces on that offensive line. Get a number one wide receiver. And the offense will be something to be scared of. And maybe a new punter too. Gillen did pretty good tonight. Uh, I, I thought he didn't have any huge blunders. I There were a lot of punts that had Washington backed up. And, you know, it was a good punt that allowed Washington to be backed up and cave on Thibodeau to get that strip sack. So it was it was a good job tonight. Real good team win. Uh, just credit goes to Kayvon Thibodeau and Saquon Barkley for sure, though. And then you have Dexter Lawrence, Aziz Ojolari, and Leonard Williams on that defensive front also helping out. Daniel Jones, the quarterback. You always got to give credit to the quarterback. And then the wide receivers coming in. Graham Gano with that 
of those clutch field goals. Graham Gano's field goals were, I believe both of them were against the wind. Yeah, because they were second half field goals. So yeah, both were against the wind. Exactly what the Giants needed when the Giants needed it. That's how you win games in the NFL. That's how the Giants got it done today. I feel like I've said a couple of things uh, uh, a couple times now. So I'm, I'm going to end the video right here. Great team win. Really excited for next week. I'll try to get another video up about that. I know I've been kind of bad on, on that lately, doing like the every other week thing. But I'll try to get better. I'm so, I'm so, all right, I got in the video. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, Giants looking good. I mean, the worst that can happen is 8-8-1. The Giants still have a shot to make the playoffs at 8-8-1. But I don't think the Giants are going to go 8-8-1. This feels like a team that get the momentum off this huge primetime win, get rid of the primetime woes that we've been having, right? Giants get the huge primetime win, and that's the sort of thing that can heat the team up. We could win all of the next games and go into the playoffs hot and be a threat in the playoffs, and that's what I really want. We can lose one, maybe even two of the next three games and still go into the playoffs feeling hot and good. I don't know. Losing two would kind of suck. If it's like a close loss, like something, some huge play happens, you know, on like our ninth corner, our ninth string corner that like cause us to lose a game. Maybe you still go into the playoffs feeling really hot, losing two games. But if we can win two in the next three games, really go in the playoffs feeling like we belong there, having the record of 10 wins that would really show that the Giants belong there, that would be huge. I want to go to the playoffs hot. I want to win some games in the playoffs. You know, I want to get far. I want to go to Super Bowl. I want to win the Super Bowl this season. Anything can happen in the NFL. There was a 33-0 comeback this weekend, so I'm not counting anything out. See you guys in the next one.